A lot thought that the Hunter Biden situation this week would, you know, Joe Biden would take a hit. But almost to the contrary, uh, the manner in which he held himself through that process has probably shone a, a nice glow on the US president. Well, the tremendous grace and strength that both Hunter Biden and President Biden have shown throughout this process has been tremendous. You know, the president is obviously grieved by the verdict and the outcome, as is Hunter Biden, as is the entire Biden family. Um, but two things are really clear here. The first is that the Biden family and the Biden um, you know, team are stronger than ever. Um, they are supporting Hunter through this difficult time. Um, but the second thing is understanding that they have faith in the, the judicial system, that when you go on trial, um, even if you don't like the outcome, even if um, the, the verdict is not in your favor, that you respect the judicial system and the outcomes. And so both President Biden as well as Hunter Biden have said that, have made that statement that um, they're disappointed, but they understand this is how our judicial system works. Well, on the subject of the judicial system, uh, Donald Trump, uh, he's had enormous energy himself. He turned 78. He's, he's mixing it with TikTok stars. He's certainly out there himself. Well, he's certainly making a play to appeal to a voter population uh, where President Biden is currently ahead, um, young people and uh, voters of colour. Um, and I don't think that any gimmicky thing that President Trump says on the campaign trail um, is going to really change the minds of these young voters and African-American voters who know uh, the difference between the truth and lies. And um, every day on the campaign trail, you're going to see the contrast between President Biden and former President Trump. President Biden, who's been continually growing the economy, has made sure that health care is affordable, um, has made sure that the everyday lives of families and citizens all across this nation are better. Um, that's the work the president has done. That stands in stark contrast to President Trump, former President Trump, who has said on day one that he will be a dictator, um, has shamed women um, for their reproductive freedom, um, and has done a, a host of other things to really show that he is not fighting for the American people. He is about his own agenda. I'll tell you what, it's tight. I, I know you're a Democratic strategist, so you're always going to be very strong for the president, but uh, it's tight. It's, it's awfully tight, and we've still got a number of months to run. Yes. Well, it is still very early in the race. You know, it's only June and it's still too early to look at polls and, and, and predict the outcome of this election. But I think a couple of things are really important to know. One, at this phase in the campaign, polls are going to be very tight. Um, President Biden will, um, I think, in most cases, continue to have a lead. Um, but even when there's a shift in the polls, um, it just means that the polls will probably shift back in a week or two. Um, and so that's important to understand that the polls are not the destiny of this election. They are merely a snapshot in time. Um, but that it's also important to see that each of the candidates is going to be mm. out on the campaign trail trying to win votes. Um, President Biden will be doing that. And I'm sure Donald Trump and the Republicans will as well. They're fascinating days at the moment. Joan, let's make sure we catch up over the next little while before the election.